We all want to play golf for many years to come, but we want to play well. We want to still hit decent shots that get decent distances without it hurting our brains or our bodies. Unfortunately, too much golf instruction and the way too many of you are going about trying to work on your swing is A, making you worse, B, not sustainable for your body. It's just way too complicated. We need to make the golf swing feel effortless. And I'm gonna show you just one major key that is probably gonna transform the way you play golf forever. I'm not gonna go into it too much, but I do want to at least touch on some of the challenges that we have when we get a bit more experienced in life and the types of swings that I tend to see. We tend to lose a bit of mobility. Unlike most conventional golf wisdom, you don't actually have to be that agile and mobile to improve your swing. It really is just a matter of working with what you've got, but understanding the best ways to literally move your body for a very simple task. And for a moment, I want you to just kind of step outside the golf instruction paradigm a little bit. Because a lot of times we're focused on swing positions like this, just with having that type of intention about thinking, okay, I've got to use the wrists here. I've got to turn this way. I've got to lift the arms. I've got to bring it back down. I've got to try and get lag. All of these things get away from the very natural aspect of seeing an object, having an implement to hit the object and just swinging. What happens is when we're trying to do so much of a golf swing, when we get a little bit more restricted in our mobility, we tend to see a move that's either turning a little bit too much here, but we're not creating fluid action in the hips. We're staying static with the lower body, but trying to turn the shoulders around the lower body. And what happens is because we don't have that mobility, you're going to see something like this we're trying to turn and it feels forced. We're sort of restricting here and we end up kind of looking a little bit this way. And what happens from there, we have a little bit too much wrist extension for one thing, but we've got nowhere to go. So we end up moving over the top this way. We end up moving over the top and then bring the arms down, flipping through. It's not very powerful to say the least, but it's also just you know, hard work because we have this flexion. The other option that tends to happen when we're trying to cheat is again, not moving the lower body and just trying to use the arms like this, where we're not getting any kind of rotation. So we end up swinging this way and we're kind of pushing it with the upper body through the ball. Neither of those is going to prove very fruitful for nice fluid strikes. So what do we do instead? I want you to stand up out of your chair. What I'm going to show you, I want you to stand with your back to me at the camera, okay, at the screen that you're looking at. And I want you to imagine that I call your name. Hi, what have I done? I've allowed my body to rotate very naturally. I certainly have not restricted my lower body here because if I restrict all of my body, like I said, with the arm movement, where we're just using the arms, I've, I've moved nothing. That's very difficult for me to just look there. Or I can restrict the lower body and use that sort of flexion pivot to try and cheat to try and look at you, but it becomes very awkward. However, if I literally just allow my legs to rotate behind and just feel loose, so I want you to shake it off, all right? Shake it off and I want you to just rotate around till you can see me. Allow your legs to move as freely as they need to. It's going to be variable for each of you, but allow them to move, rotate around. So you can talk to me without any real restrictions. And once you've done that, I'll go back this way. Got our posture. Okay. I'm looking behind me. I'm taking note of where these legs have, you know, rotated or turned, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm going to look back at the ball and that is perfect backswing with zero resistance. Grab a club or a, a lineman stick or whatever. We're going to take our golf stance and I'm going to place the club just across the thighs, just above the knees here. And what I'm going to do is apply pressure to the club to 
rotate around. So I'm making sure that I'm getting a full sort of pivot with my lower body. I'm working on this pattern of movement. And I wager for many of you, just that alone, okay, having that rotation, that alone is going to feel very different because most of you will either be restricting the trail knee and maybe letting the left knee sort of come up a little bit, but there is no rotation happening. And we need this rotation because we do not want to have separation. This is a really key factor to not think that you have to be separating the lower body with the upper body, that X factor nonsense. By doing that, you're putting strain on your spine, you're damaging muscles, and it is not a natural movement. As I said, when we do the look behind, all of this, my backside, my pelvis, my lower back, my legs, they're working as a unit. And that is what's going to give harmony and fluid swings without putting strain on the body, which is how we're going to keep playing this stupid game for many years to come. So I want you to try this. Grab the club and work on your pivot. You just have to notice a couple of things here. I'm allowing my core to wind up, to move around. I'm not just turning the shoulders. That's why it's important and I have a popular lesson and several of them that talk about don't turn the shoulders. And that's what I mean. It, they're going to turn, but I don't want you to try and turn just the shoulders because that's how we all get messed up. So I want you to focus more on allowing the legs and the hips and the pelvis to move behind and just keep rehearsing this nice and slowly. But here's one of the keys. You need to make sure that you're staying centered, that your head is not moving too much this way and we're not moving too much this way. We want to stay balanced and centered and allow rotation. Now, I'm gonna give you one more very, very crucial key. Believe it or not, many of your challenges in your swing, where you have restrictions, where you can't get that nice fluid swing, starts from your setup. And this is what I mean. And actually we have a video uh, talking about posture and using a wall to calibrate your posture, but I'll just touch on it very quickly. If you have the traditional golf setup where we've got the hips, we're flexing at the hips this way, a little flex in the knees and we're there. You think that looks great, superb. Try and move your legs the same as what we've been talking about. Or from here, try and look behind, keeping your backside sticking out. That hurts. I mean, not hurts, but it feels tight. I feel restrictions. So what's going to happen in the real world when if I'm playing golf like this, I'm going to, because I know I can't just stop my swing here, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to just add some more flexion this way, or I'm just going to allow those arms to run off. So those faults that we talked earlier often stem from having a golf posture that is not athletic, it is not agile. So all you need to do is feel like you're standing a little bit taller, but instead of flexing at the hips to get down to the ball, I want you to feel that you're actually flexing from the upper back, allowing it just to curve this way and a lot more neutral in the pelvis. And just by doing that, I'm going to exaggerate it a little bit, but by doing that, I'm going to do the same action with my legs and I can make a much freer swing. I can do a backswing pivot that is so much easier. There is no strain on my body. And that slight modification from the pelvis and not being locked in. And that's why you think you have to have super mobility because doing the traditional way and the way the young guns do and the tall players do, they can. They can work on mobility. They can stretch the body out this way. Not always for particularly long or very reliably, but we don't want that. We want to play golf for many, many years to come. And we want it to feel less strain on our body and to produce better results. So that's what you need to do. Allow your body to wind up and rotate. Set your pelvis more neutral and flex from the upper back. It's gonna help your whole action a great deal because you're gonna be able to make a bigger, more fluid backswing, which in turn is going to help your delivery coming back to the ball. It's gonna be easier to swing from the inside and to release through. You won't be having to have as many compensations. 
Work on those things. Let me know if you have any questions, but I promise you, just working on more rotation in that manner, you are gonna see dramatic results in every part of your swing. Thanks for watching, and I want you to check out this, because if you still think you've gotta turn your shoulders to get more power, your mind is gonna be blown when you see this lesson. See you next time.